x means means example. So let's say y equals. Oh, I know. Let's do let's do three pieces. Let's go nuts. So four x squared plus seven x to the fourth plus six. Oh, one, one more plus two x. <laughs> We haven't done stuff like this yet. So this just formula says we just take the derivative of each piece, right? So y prime. So what would the derivative of 4x squared be? Does anyone know? 8x. 8x. Good. Everyone okay with why it's x? Because you subtract one and you get x to the 1, right? So 8x. Very good. 8x. 8x. And then uh, 4 times 7 is 28. I was thinking about something bad. X cubed, right? I was thinking the points reset now, right? The mistake points. So, yeah, so, right. What's the derivative of 6? Zero. zero. Yeah, I'm not going to write it, but it's zero, because it's, so it's gone. So I'll, I'll write it, I'll write it, but it's zero. It's zero, right? You don't have to write it on a test. Uh, it's weak. What's the derivative of 2x? Two. two. Yeah, the derivative, it's okay. The derivative of x is one, right? Yeah, the derivative of x is 1, right? Um, because, because you can think of it like this. Two reasons. One, you can put the 1 in the front. No one does this. This is weird. It's so weird, it's difficult for me to do. <laughs> so, so, right? So you bring down the 1, subtract 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so you get 1. Another way to think about it is it's a straight line, so the slope of the line is 2, because it's mx plus b. So you would just rewrite it now. You would just get 8x plus 28x cubed, plus 2, plus 2. Okay, that's it.